Hmm. So, holy place, holy space. We have experiences in time and space. And a place, when it's an important place, it leaves an impression in our soul. And if you're, if you understand how it works, then you can take that impression with you. That's how. That's how. Um, it's not like you don't have to go back to the place where you were to have that experience again. And the same thing in time, like Yom Kippur and all these things. They're like amazing places in time, and you can take experiences from there and bring them into your life. So it's a. Uh, it's very wonderful to to know that we're in a multi-dimensional reality here, and that this is just a world that our souls came down into and we can begin to to see through some of the the camouflage that there's a godly spirit here there's a spiritual reality what do you mean we're in a multi-dimensional reality well you know as we know science is scientists are talking about the fact that matter is uh, is not what we thought it was the, the Kabbalah spoke about those things in its own language over the centuries, called Orot Makifim, Orot Penimim, inner lights, outer lights, surrounding lights, that everything has its own spiritual wrapping around it, including us, of course, mainly us human beings, but even everything else. So that's one little, one little jump up from just being physical, but the fact that there's other dimensions above us the Kabbalah sees it as a, a multi-story building that, that can see down from the upper stories and we, can, we can't see up. But we can know, we can close our eyes, so to speak, and bring ourselves into an awareness of the larger reality within which we exist. For instance, there are souls who are up in the, up in the higher, uh, higher dimensions and we don't see them. And how do we even know they exist? Who knows what's going on life after life, right? But we are told, right, in our tradition, that the heavenly dimension has no limitations in time and space. And it does, I don't over-visualize it. I don't like try and see Moses, right? But I just know that feeling. And then I can bring it back down into my life and know that I'm living here on earth, but I'm not limited to earth. It's a very not known what I'm saying, I guess. It's the idea of Israel as a is a conduit of spirituality from the higher worlds into this world. 